gets out there. Um, yeah, I know. No, I think you're on that side. Yeah. You ready? Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the wedding of Derek and Amanda. Before I start uh, the wedding, I just, if you'll indulge me, I have a confession to make. I actually started the pandemic. <laughs> I know, for me, you know, nice, clean-cut guy, it seems kind of crazy, but I really tried to figure out a way to get out of this <laughs> so I wouldn't embarrass uh, Amanda's friends and family, especially when Amanda has a father who's quite proficient in the use of firearms. <laughs> but they persevered, uh, as they always have. Um, and then the governor stepped in, and I thought, this is sweet. He uh, <laughs> limited the number of people that could come, and I said, that's great. I'm going to have 10 or 12 people, a few words, and, uh, and I'll get out of here. But on Monday or Tuesday of this week, my wife walked into me and said, Phil, did you know that Amanda is streaming this on YouTube? <laughs> and all of a sudden, unfortunately, I was back to where I was before. But with that, I want to welcome all of you that are watching from home tonight. Thank you so much for taking time out of your Saturday night to be with us and to celebrate this evening with Derek and Amanda. When Derek and Amanda asked me to officiate their wedding, I must admit that my emotions kind of ran the gamut. I was over the moon happy, that, that kind of giddy happy you have when something really spectacular happens in your wife, life. But there was also a sense of fear. Fear under the weight of the responsibility to make this night a special one, and perhaps more importantly, fear that I would never be able to find the words that are worthy of this moment. But days later, Derek and I spent the better part of an hour on the phone talking about this day his feelings for Amanda, and his commitment to spending the rest of his life with her. And in those moments, the fear washed away, and I realized how lucky and blessed I was to be able to celebrate this evening with two people whom I love and care about very, very much, and who are truly made for each other. Thank you both for this honor. Over these last couple of months, there was so much uncertainty about, about tonight. Derek and Amanda didn't know where, when or even if this night was going to happen. But no matter what changed about the wedding, one thing stayed true, this, because there is nothing more certain than love, genuine, selfless, unwavering love. Indeed, each of us in this room has had the great fortune of watching as your relationship has grown from seed to tree and how, through your endless commitment to each other, we arrived here at this evening. Amanda and Derek's love story began like all great love stories at a high school wrestling tournament 
We've all watched Vision Quest a thousand times over the years. Under the fluorescent glow of the gymnasium lights and the thick smell of sweat in the air, they quickly realized there was something special between the two of them. And though they went to college hundreds of miles apart, just like those wrestlers, Derek and Amanda were in it for the long haul. <laughs> the truth is that though the events of the pandemic of 2020 may be new, Derek and Amanda have been up for the challenge since the start. While most college students were building beer pong tables, Derek and Amanda were building a relationship. They spent years supporting each other from afar, learning about each other on late night phone calls and text messages, and crisscrossing the country just to spend a few hours together. Later, when their jobs were in different cities, they braved rush hour traffic and the Hudson River tunnel crossings, all so they could begin to make a home together. Sorry. They continually put each other first and prioritized their love, even when it wasn't necessarily the first choice. And as if life didn't provide enough challenges on its own, Amanda and Derek challenged each other. When I asked them each to tell me what they loved most about the other, they gave me almost identical answers. Amanda said, Derek pushes me to be the best I can be. Derek's response was, Amanda makes me a better person. Everyone here today has experienced those moments in life when you're confronted with a decision that is many times unclear, often surrounded by uncertainty. But Amanda and Derek have learned to communicate, and more importantly, they have learned to take a moment and listen, something so uncommon these days, and through that process, they have exhibited an uncanny ability to overcome issues that would have waylaid those far less committed. This love story started as a friendship and blossomed into best friends. Armed with the knowledge that each always had the other's back, Derek and Amanda were able to grow both as individuals and as the couple you see before us today. Many people see challenges as stop signs, immovable objects impeding them from moving forward, but Derek and Amanda embraced every challenge, rising above it and staying on course. And I think that's because they knew that no matter the roadblock, their journey would always lead them here together, finally, as one couple united forever. Derek and Amanda acknowledge that today is their day, but before beginning their vows, they felt it important to take a moment out of this special celebration to recognize two people in this room who played such an enormous role in their respective lives and who merit this small gift of love and appreciation. I found a short poem the other day that I hope expresses their feelings. Who gave me life and held my hand and caught me when I fell, who praised me for my best and wept when I did wrong, who cheered me on and taught me to be strong, who never slept so to comfort me, who will always be part of me, my inspiration, my friend, my mom. Derek and Amanda would like to acknowledge the love and sacrifice that their mothers have made to make their children the loving, caring people they are today, a man and woman who are ready to be committed in a loving marriage of their own. To do say so, they honor their mothers with a symbolic gift of beauty and love, the giving of a rose, a symbol that says forever and always, Mom, no matter how far away you are, you are never forgotten and you are always in our hearts. Amanda and Derek, you have known each other for years, from that first glance of acquaintance to this moment of commitment. At some point during your journey, you decided to marry. From that moment of yes until this moment of yes, indeed, you have been making promises and commitments to each other in an informal way. All those conversations that were held riding in a car, or over a quiet dinner, or during long walks with Ellie, all those sentences that began with, when we're married, and continued with, I will, and you will, and ultimately, we will. Those late not talks that included words like someday, somehow, and maybe, all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart, two people working out what they want, what they believe, what they hope for each other, 
All these things, seemingly common and simple, are the real process of a wedding. These symbolic vows that you're about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all of those things that we promised and hoped and dreamed for? Well, I meant it all, every word. So now, Amanda and Derek, turn and look at each other, which you already are, <laughs> and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you have been many things to each other, acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, partner, and even teacher, for you have learned much from one another over these last few years. You have learned that good company and friendship, humor, and a commitment to make each other the better is worth so much more than material possessions. And you have learned that this life we live is a maze into which we wander, a maze that is best gotten through with a great companion. Now you shall share a few words that take you across one of the most wonderful thresholds in life, a new chapter in that book called Crazy Stubin Love. For after these vows, you will say to the world, we are one as husband and wife. So without further ado, Derek, if you'll repeat after me. I, Derek. I, Derek. Take you, Amanda. Take you, Amanda. To be my best friend. To be my best friend. My faithful partner. My faithful partner. And my one true love. And my one true love. I promise to encourage you. I promise to encourage you. And inspire you. And inspire you. And to love you truly through good times and bad and to love you truly through good times and bad. I will forever be there to laugh with you. I will forever be there to laugh with you. And to lift you up when you are down. And to lift you up when you are down. And to love you unconditionally. And to love you unconditionally. Through all of our adventures in life. Through all of our adventures in life. Amanda. I, Amanda. I, Amanda. Take you, Derek. Take you, Derek. To be my best friend. To be my best friend. My faithful partner. My faithful partner. And my one true love. And my one true love. I promise to encourage you. I promise to encourage you. And inspire you. And inspire you. And to love you truly through good times and bad. And to love you, what was it? Truly. <laughs> truly. Through good times and bad. Good times and bad. I will forever be there to laugh with you. I will, what is it? I will forever be there to laugh with you. I will forever be there to laugh with you. And to lift you up when you are down. And to lift you up when you are down. And to love you unconditionally. And to love you unconditionally. Through all of our adventures in life. Through all of our adventures in life. <laughs> Including the veil. Yeah. <laughs> so many things in life won't be choices, but this is. Together you have chosen what you want and what you believe. Having exchanged your vows, I would ask that you declare your intent to be married by me in front of your closest loved ones. Derek. Do you take Amanda to be your wife, to love and support her, to grow and evolve with her, to accept her for who she is now and who she will become? I do. Amanda, do you take Derek to be your husband, to love and support him, to grow and evolve with him, to accept him for who he is now and who he will become? I do. You, who has the rings? You guys? Okay. I have Derek sitting next to me. Okay. You can just sit. Derek and Amanda, your rings are precious because you wear them with love. They symbolize your commitment to marriage. These rings represent the vows and promises that you have willingly exchanged. They reflect the commitment those words inspire and all your hopes and dreams for the future. May these, these rings remind you always that marriage is not a destination, but a journey with no beginning and no end, just a moment-to-moment -moment opportunity to love and be loved for the rest of your life. Please take these rings and each honor in the giving. Derek, as you place the ring on Amanda's finger, please repeat after me. On this day, on this day, I marry my best friend. I marry my best friend. The one who shares my life. The one who shares my life. My love. My love. And my dreams. And my dreams. Amanda, I give you this ring. Amanda, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and devotion. As a symbol of my love and devotion. I offer you my heart. I offer you my heart. My hand. My hand. And my love. And my love. I join my life with, life with yours. I join my life with yours. To cherish and protect you as my wife. To cherish and protect you as my wife. With all that I am. With all that I am. With all that I have. With all that I have. I honor you as my wife forevermore. I honor you as my wife forevermore. Amanda, as you place the ring on Derek's finger, you repeat after me. On this day, 
on this day. I marry my best friend. I marry my best friend. The one who shares my life. The one who shares my life. My love. My love. And my dreams. And my dreams. Derek, I give you this ring. Derek, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and devotion. As a symbol of my love and devotion. I offer you my heart. I offer you my heart. My hand. My hand. And my love. And my love. I join my life with yours. I join my life with yours. To cherish and protect you as my husband. To cherish and protect you as my husband. With all that I am. With all that I am. With all that I have. With all that I have. I honor you as my husband I, forevermore. I honor you as my husband forevermore. Derek and Amanda, by the mighty power vested in me by the Universal Life Church, <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. Notwithstanding that it's a violation of the social distancing rules, you may now kiss your bride. I love you, Amanda. My wife. To those of us, to those of us here tonight, and to those joining us from places near and far, including Amanda's grandma, who's home watching, it is my greatest pleasure and honor to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Derek Steuben.